Right, so this is a quick introduction to Mahara or myportfolio.ac.nz. So this is the dashboard, this is where everything about you or for you uh, is put into one place. So there are some shortcuts here to share your pages, create new pages or engage with groups. Uh, everything is customizable so you can edit your dashboard. You can see latest messages, topics you're following, your pages and pages that have been shared with you by others uh, in this column, and uh, the groups that you belong to. You can also keep in touch with other online users in the spaces here. And you'll notice that there are some guides for using uh, My Portfolio or Mahara, which is the name of the software that we use. Okay, so that's the dashboard. The next area is content. And if you have a look at this list, you can see that you can update your profile. You have access to your files. We'll have a quick look at that. The files area is just that. It's a place where you can create folders, uh, drag and drop or upload files uh, to your space. Now you don't put everything here, just whatever's important to you, uh, either in your learning or for your future career prospects. Now the journal is the one place where you're going to spend a lot of time. So I'll just show you mine. And I have a number of journals here. And my main journal is what you'll see uh, at the very beginning. Has reflections in it. And this is the one tool that you'll learn to use uh, to get started with your ePortfolio. So it dates it for you. You can add attachments. You can write notes. You can include pictures and videos and anything else that you want to embed. And you include tags or keywords that will help you make sense of your journal entries later and find them. Okay, so those are journal entries. The next area are pages. So this is under portfolio. And here are a list of my pages here. And you can search for them if you start getting quite a few, which I definitely am starting to, uh, using those tags or title descriptions once again. So here are some pages that I've created. Uh, now this one is put together inside what's called a collection, which is a group of pages all around the same topic or theme. And this one is for my, my plan or uh, appraisal system documents. And under each page there is a different uh, format that needs to be set out or template page. Okay, you get the idea. I'll show you this last one. Uh, and these have drop down lists. And all you do to fill out your pages is hit edit this page. And you can start adding your evidence in below or adding information into the space that's required. Right, and lastly, the last area is groups. So here's a group from a module last year, and um, all of the students joined this group. And we kept in touch with each other via forums, and had a few discussions in there. There was, uh, you can create collaborative group pages, that means that everybody can edit these pages, which is unlike personal portfolio pages where no one can edit your stuff. Right, you can find friends, uh, which makes it easier to keep in touch and send messages and share. Right, those are the main areas for my portfolio. It does take a little while to get yourself orientated, but once you've uh, mastered where things are, it becomes very simple.